This is what it is. It's called neurofeedback. Hi everybody. So I got something very interesting to tell you guys. I about, I'm gonna say one, two, three, four, five, six, about three weeks ago, I started uh, this thing called Neurofeedback. I don't know if you guys ever heard of it, but basically it's something that they hook me up to the computer and what they do is they try to reprogram your, your brain waves to be able to, to match whatever it is that they are. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but uh, they, 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 they basically program your brain waves and algorithm to match a certain line to where it's steady. This program actually helps a lot of, how do I even explain it? I mean, I don't even really know how to explain it. I've been going through this for a while. This is what it is. It's called neurofeedback. Is this backwards? Is this backwards when it's being shown? I don't know. But I've been going to this and I've, this is, I'm going, today I'm going to my sixth session. I've been saving all of my videos so I can compile it to show you guys, you know, what it is and how it comes out and then the outcome. I had about six sessions, uh, five sessions already, but <laughs> the other day my SD, my mini SD memory card in my phone went kaput. And it, I lost a lot of videos, a lot of uh, a lot of very good videos on there. So I was, little, I got a little frustrated. I tried to recover it, use a program, but pay for some stuff, couldn't get it back. So what I have to do today is go in today and kind of hopefully get the nurse and get the get the doctor to tell a little bit more about. Man, I had this whole thing recorded, but apparently I got to do it again. So what I. So basically, what this does, it helps with a lot of symptoms, like if you have ADHD, uh, if you have anxiety, depression, uh, you can't sleep, you have a hard time focusing, it, this thing's supposed to, act with enough sessions, it's supposed to train your brain to be able to focus, be able to do a whole bunch of things. Like for me, for me I have about, I have a hard time sleeping. I have uh, insomnia and I usually go to sleep, like I can't fall asleep so I have to take like an Ambien and I'll fall asleep at 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning and then I'm automatically wake up at like 7 o'clock in the morning and I can't go back to sleep and usually I get about 2-3 hours, hours of sleep. But as I was going through these sessions, about the third or fourth session, I go twice a week and um, about my third, fourth session, I started sleeping better. I noticed that I have started to sleep about between six to seven hours a day, which is great, absolutely great for me. I, uh, it's weird, I feel more, when I wake up in the morning, before I used to pop right up, but now after six, seven hours, I kind of drag getting up, and which, which is good for me because I'm, I know I'm getting more sleep, but at the same time, I'm having a hard time getting up. But I still can't sleep at nighttime. Uh, I still can't fall asleep at nighttime, but I am sleeping longer, so which is probably a pretty good thing. Uh, I also have a little bit of anxiety, and uh, I want to work on my focus as well for my pool game, my billiard game, because I want to get better at that. So I talked to the doctor. The doctor told me about this uh, neurofeedback thing, so I started working on it, and you know what? I have seen changes. It's kind of weird how this works, and you know what? If you watch this video, it's gonna. Sh I'm gonna go in, and you're gonna see what they do, how they hook me up, how they hook me to the computer, and everything. So, oh, and also, please check. Uh, please check back uh, and check out my sessions. I'm gonna have progress updates, and you're gonna see if it actually works. If it doesn't work, uh, we'll see how it works on me. So, yeah, let's go. I'll also show you since you had missed. Your footage of this? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Let's see. So that the, the, is your brain. Let me see if I can get it where you can actually see the waves and everything. Of course, it's not going to want to do that, so I'll just bring it back over here. There you go. There, nice. So, that was you moving just now. Oh, really? But otherwise, 
Those are all your brain waves taken from all the electrodes at those points there. So those two are from the ear clefts so that kind of help us to filter out what's your just motor movement versus your actual brain activity. Right. Oh, so every time I move, that pink thing goes exactly. off? Exactly. So like little ones like that where your eye blinks, bigger things are like movement, even if you like clench your jaw or anything like that, it's gonna pick up on that. So. Where's that trash can? Oh yeah. <laughs> I got gum. All right. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> as we're talking about that. <laughs> See, so that was you moving just now, but as you settled down, now you're getting back to your best brain waves. I'm actually really glad because you got like a perfect signal today, so <laughs> glad that worked out or else I wouldn't have shown you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But yeah, so that's just the general protocol, which is what we had you running the first few sessions. And I'm gonna switch it back over to the actual one we've been doing for focus which is helpful oh so you can't do multiple ones at the same time i mean you can but this one is just more focused so when we're doing a whole head that kind of just takes care of things more generally but lauren still use the lauren ones. yes lauren <laughs> can you explain to me how this works yeah so basically as you can see we're picking up your electrical activity from the brain so based on those signals, we're kind of helping you to retrain those areas. So areas where you might be kind of overactive from baseline, we're trying to bring those down more. And areas where you might be a little underactive, we're trying to bring those up. So the way we help you to do that is the actual feedback part of the neurofeedback. So that's when you're doing, like if you're playing games on the thing, they'll stop completely if something's off. Or if we have you do the dimmer while watching YouTube, the screen will be completely bright while you're hitting your targets, or it'll go black if you're not quite doing it. So it's kind of helping you to see more feedback, like, okay, I need to adjust something, so that makes it a little more conscious than just kind of a subconscious process that's going on. And the sessions, they're saying that I do it twice a week. Uh, mm -hmm. I do it twice a week, and it runs about 20 minutes, 25 yes. minutes okay. each time. So session and they say long. the and they said oh, I'm gonna be doing but what 35 40 sessions yeah about that after so the first session we did your kind of baseline brain mapping as we call it which is just figuring out your starting point so after about 25 sessions we'll probably do that mapping again just to see where things are from there yeah. all right so they said about the 10th session, uh, the fifth set during my fifth session mm -hmm. they started the concentration one before that what was it um, that was just a general whole head protocol. So that was using 19 different spots, just taking waves from pretty much everything. And it helped me like relax and calm exactly. and sleep. Exactly, so that's all of that. So. Now, they, now Laura, Laura said the 10th session, they're gonna start uh, training me to where I could start reading people's mind. Oh yeah, you know. The secret is we're really trying to read your mind, but you're not supposed to know that one yet. That's oh, you're collecting data on my app, I gotcha. Yeah. You know, we just send these straight to the CIA. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> they were, if that was true, they would have came after me already. <laughs> but if you look out the lines, you can actually see, not going to get into what exactly the theta, low beta is, but your low beta is a little lower than the baseline. Mm -hmm. Theta you're pretty on point with, but... What is theta and low beta? Is that a... There are different types of brain waves, kind of centered towards specific areas of the brain. So actually, I misspoke. The theta is the blue one, which you can see your baseline's not even. Is that a good thing, me being above it? Um, really, you want to get it as close to the baseline as possible. So you're not too far off with most of them, but the theta, you want to get a little bit closer to that. What's libido mean? They're um, kind of different types of brain waves where like alpha is kind of more your relaxation type, which is why you don't need that for here. Theta is kind of more your general, like, I don't want to say flightiness, but yeah, you're kind of picking up on all your surroundings. So by bringing that down, you're kind of bringing it more specific. Why is it when I hear libido is about like my sex drivers? No, that's libido. No, libido. Libido, yeah. okay. That we don't deal with here. Yeah, I was like, Man, I'm yeah. below, man. I gotta get that thing back up there. Yeah, that one we don't have. <clears throat> and so this one here is just specific areas on your brain. That's actually part of when you saw the whole head. Uh -huh. That's not just picking up types of waves. That's from that particular part of your brain. 
So, mm -hmm. and that's kind of where a lot of these are directed. So those little thermometers there, that's kind of showing what's going on up there, like when they spike or when they go down. So you can see that they don't want the most active there. Right. <laughs> so reading this thing, mm -hmm. you guys keep data of every single session that I go through. Yeah, every now, time. Now me coming back, can you tell a difference? Do you compare, can you tell a difference between when I first came here versus now? That's exactly why we do the mapping further in the sessions, because uh -huh. that's just a direct, we can tell that day how your brain is compared to that very first day. So, you know, between days it'll go up and down, it's more subtle. But when we're just taking a big kind of picture, it's really clear to see. Are you ready to start your session? Yes, I am. Okay, no problem. Did you want to do one of the brain games or? Just... Yeah, let's do a let's yeah. do a brain game. Maybe a couple of them. Actually, ones. you're in luck because we have just gotten a new new game. upgrade. I remember last week when I was here, you guys were trying to put in the code and all yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. So with this one, it's going to be kind of a flying game. Uh huh. So, you're going to get to choose some of your things. So, would you like to be a plane, an eagle, or a griffin? <laughs> I would like to be a dragon. Did you have a dragon? You actually have to earn your points to get to the dragon. I you guess I gotta be the eagle. Exactly. See, the dragon's the very next one. We have a couple, but you gotta earn your way up to that. So, I'm gonna do this. Eagle now. And do you want to be just in the water or over the water? Some boats, icebergs, icebergs, sand boats, or islands and friends? I have no preference. Alright. So whatever you think. I don't think it's not So this is kind of what it is. This one is your aiming. So you're trying to get yourself through these gold, not gold rings, these green rings. So when you're really focused and on target, it's going to go straight through, and then you'll get points. There's no flashing the lights? No. This one, it's just instead of where like it would flash, like when you're watching YouTube, what would make the screen bright, that's the same thing that's going to make it like aim better. And you have like an accuracy meter up here, so, and like this, there you go. So you see when you can get that all lit up, your accuracy is better too. So it's really just a way for you to see how you're doing there. And you do have score points up here. But basically, you just want to kind of mentally focus, like focus on it, the aim, try to get it through the ring. Whatever's going to help you kind of just direct yourself towards this. But, all right, so that's fine. See? Perfect. That's what you want to do. Okay. okay, I'm lining and I'll try and pull up your mapping. Did you want the light on or off? Uh, it's off. Okay. A few moments later. Alright, so you're all done. How is it today? It was good. It's tiring. I got really tired in the middle of it. Oh, yeah. I fall on a slide of being drowsy. Oh, yeah. But kind of means you're working out your brain. <laughs> yeah. So, mm -hmm. so I also I wanted to double check before I said anything. Right. Basically, the theta one. Cool. So we'll see how this keeps going. With All the right. Sessions. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Well, otherwise, you're done for today. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so that was an interesting session. That was about my sixth one, and uh, about 15 minutes into it, while the program, actually it was reprogramming my brain, uh, I got really, really tired, and uh, like drug tired, where I, I think I dozed off for like one or two minutes, and I woke back up and finished the session. Uh, let's see how this works. And you know what, please come back uh, every so often and check out, I'm gonna have progress progress reports on this and see if it um, does any effect. 
Uh, also, if you guys have done this or anybody has uh, gone through this, please comment down below and let us know, you know, what your results and outcome is, okay? I'll see you guys next time. Bye.